Hi everyone, my name is Jessica. Welcome to my channel. So as you can probably tell, this is my first video, so bear with me. Um, but I decided to start a little booktube channel. So um, I decided I'm going to do the newbie tag, the booktube newbie tag. Uh, so let's see, the first question. I decided to start this channel uh, because I love to read. I love the booktube community. Um, I just recently stumbled upon it. And I've been obsessed with watching different videos and I love to read and I've been reading a lot and um, it's my goal in 2019 to read um, at least 50 books. So I thought that this would be the perfect way to uh, kind of catalog that and keep track of what I read and share my thoughts with everyone. Uh, so the next question is, what are you excited about um, bringing to booktube? Um, I think I bring a different perspective. I read different books and I think what most people read. Um, I like, I'm obsessed with all things Disney. Once you get to know me, you'll see that. Um, so I like to read a lot of um, books about Walt Disney, books about the parks, about the co uh, Disney as a company. Um, so a lot of my books will be about that. Uh, and I haven't seen much of that on booktube, so I think that's something different that I can bring uh, to the booktube community. And then the, then the next question is, why do you love to read? Uh, I have loved to read for as long as I can remember. Um, I'm pretty sure that I started reading God, probably in kindergarten, first grade, and I have loved it ever since. Um, my childhood wasn't always the easiest, and... Um, reading was a way for me to kind of escape that um, and put real life aside and has always allowed me to um, travel to places that I may not otherwise get to see, um, become new people, become these characters, um, and allowed me to have these experiences that I would probably never, otherwise never have. Um, so reading gives me that escape it always has. Um, even as an adult when I'm stressed or if there's a lot going on at work or with my marriage or uh, with my husband, reading allows me to leave all that behind for a while and step into a different place, a different time. Uh, the next question is what books or series got you into reading? The earliest books I can remember reading are Dr. Seuss books. Um, even at a young age, I would read to my brothers all the time. I have three younger brothers. Um, I would read to them all the time. Um, I taught them to read, and I did that with, um, I remember, Green Eggs and Ham and Go Dog Go. Um, I started off with Dr. Seuss, but the series that has had the biggest impact on me is probably the same as a lot of people. Um, these. Pretty sure you know what these are. Harry Potter. Um, I grew up, I was lucky enough to grow up around the time that the uh, Harry Potter books were being released. And they came out every year right around my birthday. So every year for seven years, I got a Harry Potter book for my birthday. And I would spend the rest, you know, part of the, part of the summer, my birthday's in June, um, reading and rereading the book and from that year and then going back and rereading the, the past, uh, the books that had come out in the past. Um, the way the, the timeline that they came out made it so that I grew up with Harry and Ron and Hermione. Um, I matured and became a teenager and um, an adult along with them. And then once the book stopped, the movies came out and that progression continued for a while. Um, but Harry Potter has, the, the series has done so much for me as I, I know it has done for so many people. Um, and that love of reading just continued. Uh, what question would you ask your favorite YouTuber? Uh, so I have a few. Um, I really like Harriet Rosie. Uh, she's very honest and um, doesn't really hold anything back when it comes to her reviews. And I really enjoy that. Um, I also really like Emma Books. She... Her personality really shines in her videos and um, she's the same if she doesn't like a book she has no problem saying that 
uh, and she's very articulate as to why. Um, and I feel a lot of my favorite booktubers are that way. They they don't sugarcoat their reviews. They don't sugarcoat their feelings. Um, if they like a book, they tell you why. And if they don't, they tell you why. And they're not worried about who might see the video or who might not agree. Um, so I would ask them if that came naturally uh, or if they uh, kind of had to work at it. Um, I hope that I am articulate and um, am really able to get my point across when it comes to reviewing these books. Um, that's yet to be seen, we'll find out. Um, but I would ask their advice in that. Um, and then the next question is, uh, what challenges do you think you will face in starting a booktube channel? Uh, so as you can probably tell, I'm not the most comfortable in front of cameras. I, they, I've never done anything like this before. And I've actually been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for a long time, but I just couldn't push myself to be in front of the camera. Um, usually I prefer to be obviously behind the camera, but um, I enjoy writing. So usually I like to be kind of behind the scenes doing the writing. Um, but this year I decided that I wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone and into something new and to try something different. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then at least I can say that I tried. Uh, so I think the hardest thing for me will be getting over that um, that nervousness, that shyness, uh, and just remember why I'm doing this. So the next, so the next question is, uh, where do you read? So I am here in my office uh, right now. We just bought our first house, and so this is kind of where I like to read. This is where I'll usually spend most of my time reading. So as you can see, I have. A lot of books here um, so this is usually where I spend most of my time uh, I would show you the rest of the office but it's kind of a mess um, when I can this is where I will read um, but I also listen to a lot of audiobooks and I will listen to those on my way to work I work uh, it takes me about 25 minutes to get to work so I usually listen to a book or to one of the books that I'm listening to on the way home. I mean, I'm sorry, on my way to work and then on my way home. Um, 25 minutes, that usually gives me about a chapter. So I can usually listen to one chapter on the way to work and then a chapter on the way home. Uh, so I try to, usually I'm listening to two different audiobooks, so I'll listen to one chapter from each. Um, and then the next question is, uh, let's see. Um, what type of books do you like to read? Um, I listen to, or not just listen to, but read a variety of different books. I enjoy um, romances, I enjoy contemporaries, uh, mysteries. I'm just now slowly getting into thrillers. I just started reading The Shining this month. That's on my TBR for the month of February. I'm actually joining um, Harriet Rosie's Thrillerathon, so that's one of the books that I'm reading. Um, I really like. I have this obsession with um, Criminal Minds and Law and Order SUV, those kind of, um, you know, criminal, you know, criminal justice uh, cop shows. And uh, things like the new Ted Bundy tapes that are on Netflix, those types of things have always held my interest. So any book that has to do with um, murder or serial killers um, or kind of investigative crime, those kind of things really um, appeal to me. So those are uh, books that I really enjoy reading. Um, so looks like those are all the questions. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it's probably not the best. This is my first time doing this. Um, but thank you for uh, watching and I hope that you'll subscribe and um, see what else I have to talk about. Thank you.